Now folks, it's Andy here from Russian Woodsman and thanks for joining me. So we're in my, the woodlands where I started building my bushcraft camp a few years back. Not down in the Galloway, we're up at the Oakles. Um I'm only out for a few hours today. Things happened before the weekend and over the weekend which kind of put scuppered my plan to go out while camping then. But um, that's been postponed until I can get another few, a three couple of days. But I've got a few hours today before I have to go and get the kids after school. But I was heading up through this spot and there's a, a ring of rocks there where someone's had a fire before. There's a lot of wood store over there, someone's built a tree swing there. And there's also a lot of green ditch here behind that tree there. It looks old, the camp, like it's been used and then probably just been abandoned. But um, I figure I might use it because I'm, well, it's here. And I don't feel like walking any further because I don't want to be late getting back to picking up the kids. So this is a fire pit I just mentioned. It's been a while since it's been used because it's, you know, it's just, it's full of spruce stuff. But I'll give it a clean out and I'll, I'll have my fire in this. So this is the old deck chair. Nicely. That's all the firewood cut. I don't need much, it's, I'm only here for a couple of hours, it's just to cook up some sausages and that. But I'll have a quick water break and then I'll get the fire going. I've seen a little bit of snow up here, you see it just up in the, up in the hills there. I've got to bring Rusty's water bowl so I'm going to have to keep taking him over to the stream to get him to have a drink. Otherwise, he's going to keep thinking we're sharing out of this. Right, come on, let's get you some water. Right, I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm keeping in my haversack for today's adventure. So I brought my a shirt here, just an extra layer, just because it gets a bit chilly, but to be honest, I'm kind of cosy as it is with my, my rain jacket and my, my down jacket underneath. This is a bag to keep my hat and my gloves dry. Sausages. A couple of pieces of fat wood. Gloves for working around the fire. A ridge line and the small uh, DD tap that I own. Um, there was supposed to be sort of, you know, sleep showers and whatnot throughout the day, but this morning when I got up, it sort of changed to just it's going to be, you know, sunny and dry. But I brought it anyway, just in case. 
an apple and a couple of eggs. Got myself my frying pan and my little Thai plate. Got a little piece of wool blanket and a piece of foam roll, roll mat. This is what I was going to sit on until I found this little spot in this ditch here, but I suppose I could still sit on these, I suppose. And uh, also the firebox, but I'm not going to use this, I'm just going to use that little fire pit, like I said. Got my cooks attached to the side. My folding saw is attached to the side with a big, the big quick release catch. It's on the side there. For the shoulder strap of the haversack. And on my belt, on this side I've got a pouch, a small pouch to keep my my water bottle on. And then I've got a, a small pouch on this side and I'll show you what's in there. So this is the pouch. It used to be my, my first aid kit pouch, but I opted for a bigger one. But I've got a, a small cuts kit in there. A couple of uh, emergency fire lighters, those fire dragon gel things I think they're called. I've got my little Borka folding knife. It's got Enzo on it, but they're now called Breezo. Got one of those little survival lighters. Apparently it floats in water, so if I ever go overboard in a boat and it falls out my pocket, it'll just float beside me nicely. Happy days. And then the old bum roll. I'm just going to use the lighter today to get the fire going with a piece of fat wood. I didn't bother bringing the ferro rod or anything. Lucky little find this seat. Not used to all this luxury. Usually I just sit on a blank on a blanket on the floor. Don't want to get too used to it though, because then I'd have to carry one in with me. I was supposed to have been camping over the weekend. But the wife, she uh, 
she took a fall on the school run and she needs to go to hospital to get some stitches in her arm and also an x-ray just to make sure nothing was broken and whatnot. So I ended up staying at home, give her a bit of TLC and all that. And now we're into the following week and her work schedule is a bit hectic this week so I'm probably not going to get an overnighter this week done either. It'll probably be next week. I'm going to start preparing the sausages now. I retired the old deck chair there. It's keeping me too high up away from the fire. All the heat's down here and it's starting to get a bit chillier. So I'm just going to go back to what I know and sit on the floor with my little blanket. These are uh, turkey sausages. They're really, really nice to be honest. Looking forward to these. Only three of them are mine though. I was have to share with my, my main man there. I was going to have a couple of eggs with it too, but I've packed a little plastic egg case, but I forgot to put eggs on them. So, it's just going to be, just going to be a few sausages and an apple.
there's a tree over here with some young spruce needles on it so I'm going to gather a few and brew up some spruce needle tea That's it. I'll put that in my little stainless steel water bottle and then get it on the fire. Well folks, that's everything packed, we went to the haversack and I'm just about to head off in that direction back towards the car. I've got to go now because I've, I've got to pick the minions up from school. But, um, yeah, just wanted to say thank you for taking time today to watch, I appreciate you doing so and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.